Hello friends, welcome to reInvent. In this video, we are going to study about an inspiring journey of an Indian athlete. And she is Santi Sundarajan from Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Basically, she was a track and field athlete. Well, if you don't know guys what it is, let me tell you that it is a sport based on the skills of running, jumping and throwing. Well, this case study might be proven a remarkable change in your life. So without wasting your precious time, let's get into her life. Born on 70th April 1981 in Kathakuruchi village of Tamil Nadu, she is the winner of 12 international medals for India and around 50 medals for Tamil Nadu, her home state. Not only that, she is the first Tamil woman to win a medal at the Asian Games. Now moving into her early life, let me tell you guys her early life was not very easy. She grew up in a 20 by 5 foot hut, there was no bathroom, running water and electrical facilities. So in her initial stage, her grandfather, an accomplished runner, helped her. When she was 13, he taught her to run on an open stretch of dirt outside the hut and bought her a pair of shoes. Now let's discuss about her first competition when she was in 8th grade. She won a 10 cup trophy, she competed 13 more inter-school competitions. Seeing her performances, a nearby high school recruited her and paid her tuition and provided her with a uniform and hot lunches. And this was the first time when Santi had ever eaten 3 meals a day. And this way an inspiring journey of an international athlete had begun. After high school, Santi got a scholarship from an arts college in Pudukottai, the nearest town and the following year she transferred to a college in Chennai, which was 7 hours away. In 2004, she was awarded 1 lakh cash from then Tamil Nadu CM Jai Lalita. In 2005, she attended the Asian Athletics Championship in South Korea, where she won a silver medal. In 2006, she was chosen to represent India at the Asian Games in the 800m race. Well, she took silver in 2 minutes and 3.16 seconds, beating an athlete of Kazakhstan by 0.03 seconds. Now, this was the time when she had to face a lot of controversies. This will lead to her becoming embroiled in an ongoing unresolved debate over what makes an athlete to compete in the women's division. In fact, the whole debate was based on whether she has a female characteristics or not and she underwent a sex test. Shortly afterwards, the results was not in her favor. Soon after the results of the sex test came out, she was stripped of her silver medal. And this was the most crucial and challenging phase of her life. After that incident, she returned to her village in humiliation and promptly fell into serious depression. Months later, she tried to kill herself by a type of poison. But fortunately, a friend found her vomiting uncontrollably and brought her to a hospital. Now just imagine the circumstances she had to go through. But when someone has a strong desire and dedication to do what he or she loves, nobody can stop that person. Just two months later, after that suicidal incident, Santi took up coaching, starting a training academy at her home and became a temporary athletic coach with the regional government. By 2009, her academy had 68 students and her students had won the first and third positions in the Chennai Marathon. Later on, she was admitted to the NIS Athletic Coach Diploma course in Bangalore in 2013. Nanti was one of the 24 coaches in athletics out of the 108 students who attended the course in 8 disciplines. On 30th April 2014, she became a qualified athletics coach, being awarded the NIS Diploma Certificate at the Sports Authority of India graduation ceremony in Bangalore. After some time on October 16, 2016, Santi was informed that the state government decided to appoint her as a permanent athletic coach under the Sports Development Authority of Tamil Nadu. She received her appointment order for a permanent athletic coach under SDAT on 20th December 2016 from Tamil Nadu Sports Minister K. Pandya Rajan at the Fort St. George, India.